What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Banger Girl, and I'm back with another banger. In today's video, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I just wanted to tell you about my new favorite plugin. I like to think of it as a mixing hack. Is this neat little plugin called Su2. It's by Oik Sound, and I think that's how you pronounce their name. It's spelled O-E-K-S-O-U-N-D. Now the plugin costs a little over $200, which might be out of some people's budget, but if you're able to save a little and you want to invest in a plugin that will definitely help you improve your mixes, I think this is definitely a plugin you might want to look into. I actually went to the website and downloaded their trial version, so I had the plugin for 21 days, and I fell in love with it which prompted me to pay the $200 for the actual plugin. So some of you may be asking, what is Sooth 2? Sooth 2 is just a dynamic resonance suppressor, and Sooth 2 identifies problematic resonances, and by simply putting the plugin on to your instrument or your vocal track, you instantly reduce these harsh sounds. And you can literally put this plugin on anything to smooth out the harshness in a tone, like a guitar or vocals. You could put it on low end to clean up muddiness. The options are really endless. So I just wanted to explain some of the parameters really quickly, and then I wanna show you how it actually works. So not to take up too much time, you have these two modes, the soft and the hard mode. It just depends on your level of correction. The hard mode is reserved for more aggressive suppression. The soft mode is for more gentle correction. Sharpness determines how sharp the notches are. Similar to the Q on an EQ, the higher the value, the more fine the notch or the more narrow the attenuation will be. While selectivity deals with the processing of the actual tones. Less selectivity gives a more overall tone shape, but more selectivity focuses on those harsh peaks in the overall sound. Attack and release, very similar to the attack and release on, let's say, a compressor. Attack deals with the speed of the process as suppressing the resonances, and the threshold is how quickly the suppression notches disappear. Depth is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's how much processing is applied. So just think of like depth of field, I guess. But anyway. I went into Logic Pro and I just loaded three uh, Apple loops and I put the Soothe plugin on all three of these loops. So what I'll do is I'll play the loop first with the Soothe plugin off and then I'll activate the Soothe plugin just to give you a A and B experience. So let's start with this Backyard Blues lead guitar. <laughs> Now off the rip, you hear those harsh frequencies, those harsh resonances. So Soothe is awesome for this. It would taper down those harsher resonances and kind of give a more smooth feeling. So let's put the, the plugin on. And you can see in the analyzer how much suppression is actually taking place. And in this 1,000 to 4,000 uh, mid frequency range, that is where those harsh resonances exist. Now, if you increase the depth, it will just add more suppression, you know what I mean? But we don't need all that because we don't want it to sound, we don't want it to lose the essence of the sound, we just want it to sprinkle a little hush on it. All right, so let's check out this Byron melody. Let me deactivate Soothe. So now that sample is very, very breathy, very, very uh, sultry, I guess you would say. Adding Soothe automatically takes out those annoying tones and just evens out the tone. <laughs> now 
Now, some of the differences might be so subtle, but you can hear it if you listen closely. I also want to say disclaimer, I'm using factory presets. So I didn't tweak this to my liking. I just threw on a factory preset. And even by just throwing on a factory preset, you notice a difference between having the suit plugin on the track and having the suit plugin off of the track. And last but not least, we have this autumn synth bass. <laughs> Then we add Soothe. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's Soothe 2, basically, in a nutshell. It's very user-friendly. I feel like if you're new to mixing, it's very, very easy to use. If you're OG to mixing, it will definitely elevate your mixes even more. You could put it on your electric guitars. You could put it on your 808 bass. You could put it on vocals. You could put it on literally anything. Anything that has like a harsh tone standing out in the mix, you throw Su2 plug in and within minutes, your mixes are elevated. So I also wanted to show you an alternative way to use Su2. I like to put it on my melody buses. So right now I have a track open. It's like an Afrobeat Latin fusion kind of track. It's been mixed. I have a whole bunch of plugins on it, but I also have the Soothe 2 plugin on my melody bus. So what I'm going to do is play it without the Soothe 2, and then I'm going to add the Soothe 2, and you're going to be able to hear the difference. <laughs> the money to invest in a plugin that's going to elevate your mixes whether you're beginning on your mixing journey or you've been in the mixing game for a while i think you should look into sue too i just want to thank y'all for showing me love watching my videos commenting on my videos encouraging me i really really appreciate it and i'm happy that my videos are helping some of you guys thank you for my subscribers thank you for my comments thank you for all that good stuff if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified as to when I'm dropping content like this. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, keep creating, peace.